demonstrate for you why I want you to draw a timeline. So you go to take your multiple choice tests, your short answer, the DBQ, uh, the long essay. You draw a quick little timeline. 1607, Jamestown. 1776, Declaration of Independence, the American Revolution. 1861, Civil War. 1941, Pearl Harbor, America enters WW2. But you want to think also in terms of what are some things that come before and after each event so that I don't get confused when I go to write something. Well, when was the market revolution? When was Irish immigration important to America? So I might think about some of these things. I want to think of perhaps one social, one political, one thing economic that come before and after. When I think of 1607, I might want to think of something like Spanish and how they colonized the French and the Dutch all before 1607. And of course, very important, the Mesoamericans, Indians, and maize and things like that. Something that comes after 1607, economics, you know, you've got Atlantic system, because Colombian exchange actually comes over here. I'm gonna put a Mr. Linhart right there, so I know I got that done. So I got Atlantic system, uh, indentured servitude, I just abbreviate things, I'm writing them really fast. That's a little on the social side. Maybe it's also economic, it just depends on how you think about it. Um, if I'm thinking political, I might wanna say House of Burgesses. I might even say town meetings. That's my Puritans. Maybe I put Puritans in there too. That's just again, whatever you're thinking of, Something comes before 1776. I want to think um, the first Great Awakening, the first GA. I'm going to think uh, French Indian War. I'm going to think taxation, Stamp Act. Then we get to the Declaration. Afterwards, maybe I'm going to think. Let me think something really off the wall here. Republican motherhood. Let's say Articles Confederation. Constitution. Abbreviating everything. Just before Civil War, I'm gonna put Market Revolution. I'm gonna say Second Great Awakening. I'm going to say abolition. Maybe I'll even say compromise and failure. Showing both. Now I'm going to think of three things that come after. Industrial. Revolution. I want to thank uh, new immigrants. This is my Eastern Europeans that are coming. I want to thank Farmers' Rebellion. Perhaps, maybe, maybe you think of something else. Now, three things that come before World War I. Imperialism. Well, I know World War, I'm sorry, I said World War II. So I know World War I comes before World War II. I don't think I want to put that in there necessarily, but maybe I will put progressivism. Maybe I'll put Roaring Twenties. 
I might put suffrage. I might put Great Depression. New Deal. Those are all just possibles. You can just, whatever you feel is more important. Right afterwards, Cold War. Civil Rights. I want to think counterculture. Vietnam. I can think also all the way to perhaps if I want to do uh, Ronald Reagan. Advances in technology. Migration to the Sun Belt. And there you have just some possible things that you can come up with. So when you go to write an essay, you can now go, all right, I kind of think I can think of something to say when they ask me something about something. Beautiful work. See you later.